in the board. I'm a Timken High School graduate, 1953. I was born 12933, which makes me 82 years old. I've seen a lot of changes in Canton. And the school system right now is in chaos. We need to keep it just the way it is right now, without any changes. The money, it's all about money right now when you hear what's being said, bottom line. When I graduated from Tiffany Vocational High School, I went right down the street to the W.T. Grant Company. And I was assistant manager there until one day they walked in and 2,300 stores in Packingham. Then I went across the street to the man shop. And I worked there for two years. Then it dissolved. So then Uncle Sam, my great uncle, <laughs> he took me for two years and thank God for Freddie Harold, Dan Rizzoletti. I played football four years at Lincoln High School. I went into the Army. Fort Knox, Kentucky. I went overseas to Germany and I was on a football team over there and I had the privilege to be in every country in Europe playing football. Thanks to Dan Rizzoletti and the coaches here. They taught us never give up. Hang in there. If you have to take a rope and tie down at the end, do it. But hang in there. And I say, let's keep it simple, not stupid. Let's keep our schools just the way they are, separate from each other, and yet very good. It won't hurt us to combine our efforts to try and help what we need to be helped with. And the bottom line again is M-O-N-E-Y. That's when it all comes down to folks. Let's not kid ourselves. We have the best teachers that Anywhere in the United States, you couldn't get better teachers than what we have in the city of Canada. I don't care what school it is. I'm tired of, here's what's happened to me. I went to Baxter School for two years, it closed. I went down to Stark School, it closed. I'm tired of all the schools behind me, it closes. <laughs> Let's keep one open for Harry Hughes, please. <laughs>